Wow. Hi. Hello, Facebook. Hello, hello, hello. As I'm sitting down, it's Monday. Uh, it's not quite morning here anymore, but I'm trying to map out and plan out everything I've got coming up. And I've got a massive month coming up in July. And I'm really excited. I want to tell you all about it. So instead of writing a post, I wanted to come on and see if you guys were interested in hearing about all the projects that I'm working on and all the things that I've got going on. So believe it or not, I have five classes that I'm teaching that are that's starting in July and I'm really, really, really excited. So I have my, um, let's just get into it. I'm just going to tell you what I've got. So um, as most of my friends and, and um, connections here on Facebook know, my passion and heart has been really supporting teens and tweens. I've been doing this work for almost the last 10 years and it's something that is so meaningful to me and brings me so much joy and in fact I'm I don't know if you can see nope I don't have it here but I'm in the middle of writing a book to support you parents of teens and tweens but the courses that I teach I've got three of them coming up for teens and tweens themselves so um I'm I've started the 12 week course, which is my, um, you know, the, the big course that I do for teens and tweens that helps teach teens accountability tools to help them manage their uh, mental health. Um, we talk about triggers, we, we workshop shadows, and it's really a deep, intimate course and it's set up very similar to a course hybrid group coaching and it's absolutely powerful and with each week that unfolds over the three months I provide tools and there are challenges and accountability and projects that we produce and I started my 12-week course for um, the U.S. and Europe and South, South Africa and that started two weeks ago but I've been asked to produce a second one for Asia and Australia for the time zone. So I have a new one coming up. It's the exact same thing I've been teaching, but it's going to be in a different time zone. So if you happen to catch this and you're in Australia or Asia, I've got a course coming up to support your teens uh, 14 and up with these powerful tools. And it's in a brand new time zone. And that's going to launch on July 13th. It's going to be a Tuesday. So we'll figure out. I've got interest already in Malaysia, India, and Australia. So if you are interested and you're in one of those time zones and have been sad because all the courses that I teach really don't, you know, uh, serve that time zone, this class is for you. So please send me a note. I'm going to drop the details for all the stuff that I'm working on into the comments. So that's the first one. This will be the, the fourth time I'm teaching this course. And it's let me tell you, the feedback that I get from the teens and tweens is powerful beyond belief. It is something that I wish I had when I was moving through my own adolescence. And instead, the kinds of tools that we're using are tools that I didn't discover until I was well into my 30s and 40s. And my gosh, I, sometimes I reflect, what would my life have been like had I not um, you know, struggled through some of these traumas without tools for so long. Anyway, hey, Sky, again, I'm seeing you here. <laughs> so um, that's one of the classes that I have coming up, again, for the Asia and Australia uh, time zone, and that is for young people, teens, uh, and teens to about, from about 14 to about 22. The oldest student that I've taken my, that I've had take my class so far is 22, and the feedback is like this, this work is timeless. So anyway, um, so that's coming up. I will drop the info for that in the link. Um, a little bit later on today, I'm going to do another live with my son, Miro, 
where we are going to talk about a course that we're co-teaching. It's the second time we're teaching this course. It's for tweens. Now, it's based on the, the work and the tools that I've created for the teens, the older teens, but it's scaled down a little bit into an eight-week course, and half the course is really about the internal work, and the other half explores some of the external things that I wish that I was exposed to. So let me give you an example of the twin course, and I'm also going to talk about how the course is laid out. It's slightly different than the, the course for the older teens. So for the eight-week course for the, the tweens that my son and I co-teach, we talk about core values, we explore worldviews, we, we explore the world of philosophy, and we try and really get tweens um, really going inward to tap into some of these intuitive things that, that, that perhaps they've never had language to put around it. Um, we explore a lot about self-advocacy. Um, we do some exercises on boundaries and what that looks like. Um, we also talk about NBC. Those of you that know nonviolent communication, it's an amazing tool to start introducing to young people. And of course, we bring in exercises around conflict resolution. So that's the internal stuff that we workshop. The external stuff that we introduce and explore are topics like logical fallacies which is really important to be able to discern, um, you know, what, what it is that people are arguing about and how they're arguing. And, and um, that really goes hand in hand with the NVC and the conflict resolution. We also explore things like POV or point of view and framing. And that's really important when we start talking about media literacy. So these are topics that I wish, again, as a tween or a young teen, I was introduced to. So these are external world and internal world issues that are explored for through our teen and tween course. Now I said there's a difference between the teen tween course and the 12 week older teen course that I do. The older 12 week teen course is really about going inward and workshopping some of these um, issues that are coming up like triggers and shadows and we're doing our our challenges and then during the the workshop they go into breakout rooms and they work with other teens and then we come back and unpack these really big topics with this the younger uh, teen and tween course, we do a lot of group exercises. I don't put them into individual rooms. So we gamify everything. So as a group, we'll be making, like if we're exploring worldviews, we'll be talking about the aspects. We'll brainstorm together the aspects of what goes into a worldview and how people see the world differently and what those aspects are. And then we build characters. And then we take those characters and we interact them with the other group's characters. And it's really a powerful, experiential state of understanding how a specific worldview will, will change or color the way that somebody interacts with an issue. And so for Miro and I to facilitate these sorts of really big topics in a fun way, um, it's been really important for us to be able to develop these kind of gamified, game, playful um, experiences. And so that's what happens during the eight-week course. Both classes that I teach go hand in hand. Like I said, one goes deeper. And in fact, right now, I have a young teen who went through the eight-week course who is now in my 12-week course and is starting to recognize like, oh, yeah, okay. So that's that topic that we explored, and now I'm taking it and going much deeper. And it's really a powerful way to normalize mental health. Like, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about here. So those two classes are happening. Like I said, the 12-week course that I have, 
it's already running for for teens um, now. So the next one for U.S. Europe time zone won't happen until September. But I do have a class coming up for Australia and Asia. So please don't miss that. That's it'll be the first time I'm running it for this time zone. So excited. I've got another class coming up. So the third class that I have for young people, 11 and up, like all age ranges. It's a six week course and we are, it's a creative writing course and we are exploring self through the hero's journey. And it's going to be a powerful, powerful class. So what I'm doing is we're breaking down the steps of the hero's journey and we're taking our own journey as a writer and we're writing pieces of our own journey through the lens of fiction. So we're going to create our characters. Of course, they're going to be based on ourselves and we're going to run them through the hero's journey. So it's a creative writing course and I'm so excited. I have been developing this course um, since I read The Alchemist, like in my mind, like I'm so excited. And I'm so incredibly excited to read that The Alchemist is going to be made into a movie. So those of you that are fans of the book, The Alchemist, that is the be most beautiful example of the hero's journey. And I am so thrilled to be able to facilitate a group of young writers through their own hero's journey through fiction. So that class um, is going to start on, when is that class going to start? July 19th. So that's coming up. I already have a, a couple of um, applications that have uh, expressed interest. So excited to start on that. So those are the three classes that I have coming up in July for young people. Then I am co-teaching two incredible classes with my dear friend, Sarah Beale. And Sarah Beale is an advocate for unschooling. Um, together, we formed a company called Partnership Parenting uh, Movement. And we are both so incredibly passionate about the concept of parenting in partnership. The first class that we're offering is for parents um, and it's a powerful five-week intensive about de-schooling. And de-schooling is all about having the language to unpack what it looks like to decompress when you're stepping out of the dominant culture of uh, the traditional school system. And if you're deciding to unschool or, or homeschool school away from the system, there's a lot of stuff that we need still to unpack. It took, it took me a good couple of years to to de-school and I still find these thoughts come up as I'm working in partnership with the teens that I'm working with these days. I have to really catch myself and be aware of some thoughts that come up or some actions, reactions, agenda that may or may not be mine. And that's a really powerful um, intensive five-week course to be able to unpack this stuff in a very safe place. We also provide a series, series of really powerful tools and you'll be able to workshop some of these big things that come up with other parents that are going through the same thing. So if you are new to home education or are still struggling and have decided that you're going to, to step out of this school system, I really suggest that you join us for this five-week intensive. You don't want to start this journey alone, nor do you want to start this journey without powerful tools. And then the second course that Sarah and I are co-teaching is one of my favorite courses. We've taught this in the past, and I've done workshops galore on this um, through the Project World School Family Summits and, and all of the different conferences that I've spoken at. I am an 
advocate for partnership parenting and part of the tools that you'll learn in partnership parenting is to intentionally define your family culture. Now, in order to define your family culture, you've got to do one big thing and that's what we're calling the course. We're calling the course Ditch the Rules and how liberating is that? So the course itself is Ditch the Rules, Find Freedom Through Creating a Strong family culture. And if you want to learn more about that course um, and the de-schooling course, I'll drop the links into the comments section here. And again, if you are starting off on a world schooling journey or if you are starting to create a new address a new way of living for you and your family. As parents, there is no shame in getting support. There is no shame in in saying, I don't know how to do this. And one of the great things that we can do as parents is prepare ourselves within, within feeling like we're supported by community and by really seeking out powerful tools. Like I said, I've taught this course many times. Sarah and I actually taught this course like earlier this year and we taught it um, as, a, as an extended course last year and the feedback that we've gotten has been incredible. I'm going to again like I said drop the links into the um, the comment section of this thread and feel free to go to our website, check out the testimonials, send me a message if you have any questions and if anybody's interested in any of my courses, I'm happy to provide a discount code. Just send me a message, let me know, or just drop into the comments, hashtag interested, and I will send you a discount code for any and all of the classes that I just mentioned. I'm excited to learn with you and to expand our awareness and to really enjoy July. So July is going to be an exciting month. I can't wait to see you then. And um, take a look, watch this space in a few hours. Miro and I are going to pop in and talk about the twin course again. And I'm really excited for you to hear the way that, that Miro and I work together and see somebody who was raised with this ethos and who is now a full-fledged adult who is really happy in his own skin. This, this, is, this is powerful work that we're doing as parents. And as parents, we are raising this next generation, obviously, but the world needs kids and young adults who have a sense of self, who have a sense of knowing who they are and won't be swayed by, by propaganda and things that don't align with their own ethos. We really need to have these people in the world for our next generation if we want to heal. So that's my work. Um, I hope to hear from you. Let me know if there are any questions. Look forward to connecting with you in July. Thanks.